tape that he recorded in Muscle Shoals of Kodachrome. and a few other tunes and I, I couldn't believe what he'd gotten. I thought I was in the wrong business. just such an energy and such a, a tightness, such a, a human warm feeling and the playing was so brilliant that I, I was just knocked out. So I, on his advice, came down here and recorded. And what I found was a family, a family of people that felt their music very deeply that who weren't so absorbed in commerciality that uh, they lost the sense of commitment to making the music right. As a matter of fact, they're so serious about it that they don't get a, a take on a song that really satisfies them. I mean, they just can't sleep all night waiting for the next day to get it right. Now, the way they work is that uh, you kind of let them find their own point of view as musicians. You don't bang on their heads and say, play this way, play that way. If you let them find it, each of them will come up with a part that is not just a mechanical piece of music, but is part of a, an integrated whole point of view that, uh, um, that, th that they can feel. So that it's like with Peter, Paul, and Mary. I used to sing my part, but it was more than just a part. It was a melody to me. Each person here finds his own melody, and if you give them the time... <laughs> This particular session that I'm uh, working on with Barry Beckett, who is, um, uh, you know, the, the keyboard person here, but he's also a producer. <laughs>
They know R&B music cold. They've, they've been brought up, of course, with country music. And their, their song says, their sense of the, the tonality of what a song should be, and says when you record with them that it's hokey. Feeling like a fool, loving you both, is breaking all the rules. I said, hey, just because there's someone else, you were the first real love I ever had. Yeah, we're just going to If it doesn't suit you as a producer or an artist, you talk to them, and you talk to them not just in terms of technique, but in terms of attitude, in terms of motivation. For instance, the song that Mary McGregor is singing now is like a woman's version of a Dr. Zhivago. You know, it, Dr. Zhivago was a man torn between two loves that honestly tore his soul apart. And this 